Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Ellen. Are you a person that struggles with perfectionism and you want to create something really quick and fun and easy? Well, I've got the tutorial for you today. I want to get you out of your head and into having fun and playing with watercolor. We're going to go over this step by step, uh, my little technique to make this look like atmospheric and kind of impressionistic slash, you know, abstract. It's really simple and easy and um, a lot of fun. I really just want people to get out of their head and stop thinking about what they have to do, how they should do it, it has to look a certain way. No, it's just about just doing it, having the courage just to put some paper, you know, paint to paper and not think too much about what it is. That's all it is. It's really just having fun and joy. And if you're not having fun and joy, you gotta try and do something else. I really just want people to get out of their head about what they need to do. Also, check out my P Patreon. I have ad-free videos, traceables, exclusive tutorials, and a live stream in the top tier. It's just a place people go and support my channel. So without further ado, let's get out of our head. Let's have some fun. Paint some quick cards. Okay, so for this exercise, I'm going to go over supplies. I have just two pieces of Arsh 100% cotton cold press. This is like three and three fourths by four and a half. I think the card here size. And then black craft stock paper. I think it's like four and a half by five and a half. Whatever size you want to do. I'm just choosing these small sizes, see, and you can just tape them on like this later. But we're going to just work on the paper to we'll glue them on. You, people can glue with hot glue guns. You can use um, double-sided tape, whatever works for you. And I'm going to use flat wash, uh, flat wash brushes. I have two from Princeton. Uh, this is the 3 4 inch velvet touch, and this is the 3 8 inch on an angle velvet touch. I think they're fun to play with to make flowers and stems and leaves because people use, generally use round brushes. They don't use flat brushes, and I think flat brushes are getting a bad rap. I've mixed up some colors, pre-mixed up colors, and um, put some colors out because to save time, because this is supposed to be a fast exercise. I really want people to learn how to paint a little faster so you can produce more things and you get that loose feeling. So I just loosened up some burnt umber, uh, made some like light green with the Cabinot Deep and Peacock Blue, and then the dark, I take the yellow and Prussian blue and add a little um, burnt umber. I took some Elizabeth Crimson, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, and add a little burnt umber so the red's a little more cranberry-ish. And then here's my cabin yellow deep. And I just put it over here. I might add a little bit of burnt umber, touch tap. And then this is ultramarine blue, just out here, hanging out by itself. And we can even just take out some Payne's Gray. You know, fall colors don't have to be red, orange, and whatever. They can be blues. You can put some blues in there. So I got two flat wash brushes. Let's play with the bigger one first, even though it's on a small piece of paper. See? And I've done this on bigger pieces, but let's just do it on a smaller one. So we're going to take this brush. I'm going to grab that crimson color and add some more paint on here. Maybe a little more burnt ember. And it's all the way you kind of hold the brush. I definitely have to make it a little bit looser because this paper really soaks up. So I'm going to do like this, twisting and turning, twisting and turning, right? So here I'm going to hold it this way. See, I'm holding it. Push, twist, 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 twist. I'm going to move fast. That's one flower. Put another one here, holding the side, twist, twist. Just really get in there fast. Boom. See, I'm twisting and I have like the little pointy tips from holding it on the side. We got two flowers. That's a bigger brush. It's going to make a bigger design. You take the smaller one, and you get to grab some blues or yellows. So here we're going to grab the yellow. Same premise, it's even though it's on an angle, it doesn't matter. Oh, that one's a little kind of dark, ugly. So I'm going to go add some more bright yellow. It got a little too muddy. <clears throat> Sorry, my voice is still kind of cloggy. Still have congestion. It's been going on for almost a month. I don't, please don't <laughs> give suggestions. I know, I have it all, seen doctors. It's just gonna work its way through eventually. Okay, so you're doing the same thing. Twisting, twisting, twisting. Twist, twist. Let me show you again. Zoom in. Kind of push and twist, push and twist. Go like that. It's really fast. Kind of here, here, see, see, and I didn't have a plan. I, I think people get stuck in perfection. Don't have to have a plan with everything in the world. You can just kind of play, and that's all I'm doing. 
And let's grab this ultramarine blue. Let's see, let's put something up here. Just like a crazy blue. Hell, we could have put a pumpkin in here, but we're doing florals. Just really quick. See, it's kind of like a pointy, I don't know, daisy kind of thing. Make a little small one here. Push down, boom. Let's start adding some greens. I'm still gonna use this smaller one. Let's get the light green in here. And actually, let's get a little brown so it's more olive. So I added some burnt umber. This is more of an olive green. Because that bright green was more summery. It's starting to look a little summery. We have to go back and add some other colors. So just gonna pull down, pull down, pull down, pull down, pull down. And then you do this twist method up and down. See, up and down push like that, just like that. Twist. And you see that dry brush happening on that paper because it's got that nice tooth. You start adding in the darker green. Just little lines in here, here. You want a variety of greens. We're gonna do this fast. Remember, we want like five minute cards that you can just get out of your head. You can just play, boom. All right, we're building here. Let's add some browns and some grays. I like this, uh, this burnt number is like too reddishy kind of brown for me. I'll add a little paint gray to it. Then we have a better brown, in my opinion. Okay, I'm gonna water that down. Tap on my paper towel if I feel like it's too much. I'm just gonna like twist, just do a lot of lines. And you can just push down, kind of connect, boom. Getting a little brown stems in here. And then the paint's gray too, it's kind of pretty. See, they make kind of these funky kind of pointy leaves and petals. And we got the gray crisscrossing, led into the yellow a little bit, so what? So this is looking a little too pinky for fall. We'll go back to our crimson, add some more brown, maybe a touch of this. Prussian blue. And look at that, it's much darker. Take the brush, kind of just see how I'm just pushing it out like this. And start to build. You can use the side of it. Go back over that flower. Why not? If it felt like it was too pink. You can add little doodad dots up here. So it's almost like berries. It's fun to play with flat brushes. See, simple. And the yellow, maybe you wanna add some, I made a mess here. A little bit of red in here, brown and yellow. You can go back in here with the tip of this brush, just kind of tip, 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 kind of tap in another color. You're just really just tapping in that color. Add some more brown and here next to the blue. Really just fast and simple using a flat wash. The center of the the red flower could be that mustardy yellow. Right? It's almost like abstract flowers. We can actually play with that too. <laughs> and you know what I'm gonna say. Yep, you take the big wash brush, take some clear water. You made all these lines. It looks kind of pretty. You can just keep it as is. Let's take some clear water and let's play with, grab your paper towel close by, by the way. Just washing away some of the color. Let's see what happens. I know, I'm crazy this way. I just like to play. And that's what you need to be doing. Some people get so stuck up on, I, I really wanted to paint today, but I didn't know what colors and what paints to use. You just pull them out. Pull them out of the darn tube, the damn pan you have, and just start doing what I'm doing. Just put some color down. There's no right or wrong. See, I'm gonna go in here and mess this up a little bit. It's gonna change. It's gonna be very abstract. And maybe that's what you want. And you can go back over this and you can add some gold or other touches. 
this is the whole point this is supposed to be joyful and fun and if it's not you have to step away and do something else maybe just go out and take pictures see I'm kind of just mushing it I know someone's gonna say I liked it the way it was well just keep it the way it was but sometimes when you just go in and play and have this nice little atmospheric kind of touch to it I don't know I kind of love race it's almost like you erased it I kind of love that look it's a personal thing just feels like it's mystical magical right and then you have this nice abstract kind of flower and when that dries you could go in and add little details I'm gonna go take the corner of this brush and add a little yellow in here I didn't put in earlier a little bit here but I think that's fine for that particular first card so we're gonna move on actually before we move on <laughs> I didn't add I think I might wait till it dries a little bit but you can add a little almost like a little thick Payne's gray minimal water so they're like a little black like a black-eyed Susan kind of flower here yeah now that really pops okay we're gonna move on all right for this fast card let's play with different colors again so we're gonna do we start off in the red center you can start off doing more stemmy kind of things um, like here we go with the stems take some greens browns remember we're just doing quick cards I'm using this little 3 8 inch brush here we're gonna have more fun with this right we got that dark color one in here don't leave him alone <laughs> just making this little line it's supposed to be fast 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 do 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 can add some of that paint's gray just get in there see I'm just going up and down but do do we've done so many things like this before we're doing a fast cards now you got a fast card I know I took on everything into a song okay so then we grab more of the blues and I'm gonna add some more gray to this and let's see or we can just do more yellows. We've done so many yellow things. I haven't done blue much. Just gonna tap, tap on the side. This is the little brush. And we're gonna just do some ditzy kind of flowers. More on the blue tones. I'm gonna grab some more ultramarine blue. It's just, blue needs to have its moment, right? I mean, I love blue. Can I start to add more paints gray in here. So we've got blue. We've got to coordinate the two cards. What do I mean by that? We have to add some of the colors that match the other card. So we can grab some of this crimson. Kind of put the little dots in here. I wouldn't do it everywhere. Just on one side. And I'm going to grab that yellow. Now you could do like a daisy up in here. See how I'm just holding it on its side like this? Do, 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 do. This is mindless. Do, 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 do. Don't get stuck that you can't pull out the paints that you have and what color to use. Just pick three colors. How about that? Pick three colors and just go for it. Mix them all different ways. So now I got the yellow. Now I'm going to go back and get some browns. Mix the brown with the paints gray. Do, do, do. Oh, it's a little darker, huh? Do, do, do. Playing. So I've decided to make this section a little dark. Maybe I'll go back in and add some blue in here. Ooh, some deep blue. Just tapping, moving things around with my brush and playing. That's all I'm doing. Tapping, tip, tap, tap. Can make a little bit darker blue again by adding in some paints gray. Tip, tap, do little tippy taps. So you know what I'm gonna do. <laughs> gonna do the same wipe away thing. Same colors though, right? Is the other one? What are we missing in here? I don't know. We've got that light green. Maybe make a little more light green in here. It's a little yellow. Put that black in a little bit too early. You could always just take your paper towel, tap, tap, remove it. And if I want to add more cranberry, I guess go in and add more cranberry. 
I really just want people to get out of their head and just go and create. I didn't do any creating this weekend because I just wasn't feeling well. So if you're not feeling well, don't do it. But I wish I really wanted to do stuff. I wanted to create really badly and I didn't. So I'm going to mush that. Sometimes it's good to wait till it dries too, by the way. So then you don't have a big mushy, mushy cut. So I'm going to wait till this one dries. Magic of television. We come back. <laughs> 